and it's lane three looking strong. Emma Saunders of the City of Manchester Aquatic. Saunders looking good. Final five, Saunders is gonna take this. She does, cracking swim there by Saunders. 159.96, Emma Saunders takes the top spot. And it really is a corker of a final, this, isn't it? Look at this, we've got three swimmers trying to enjoy the honour and bask in the kudos of the individual victory, but then it will be matched against, remember the time and that world record of their category. Cracking race there, lane five providing us with a winner home, that was Craig Rodgy. Fredrickson's made a good start, so as the centre of the pool, if you look here, and Stephanie Bird in lane four, but Jessica Applegate in lane five is going to take the race. How near she'll get to that world mark for the S14 category, we'll wait for the points to be confirmed, but the winner is Applegate from the S14 on 29.88. And Lochran is in the lead here. He may just be having a tilt at his Welsh record, which is 25.81. Lochran it is then, bringing the field up to the touch here. Keep an eye on the clock. Marco Lochran stops the clock on 25.69. And it's between these two at the moment. And uh, Davis is really turning on the style here. Beginning to blow the opposition away. Half a body length, the advantage as she comes into the concluding five. The rest are being put to the sword. And it's uh, Davis that takes it in 61.14. Walsh over there in lane one. He's really under pressure as Coombs in five. He's coming back at him. And it's looking like Coombs in five might take it. What a race we've got here. Coombs will take it. It was a cracking race. Daniel Coombs, Ludbury University, 352.85. And it looks very much to me like Anne Bockman of the City of Leeds is going to nail this one to add to those youth titles she won just a week ago. Bockman's got this tidied up nicely. Just watch the touch. Bockman finishes 2.13.80. A personal best time for Bockman. And Mallet's starting to come through here strongly. And also Vickers in lane four but it looks like Rock is going to hang on, although he's been really pressurised now. Coming up to the touch, what a close finish. Very close. Rock takes it on 159.97. Silver going to Vickers of Stockmort Metro. Final five then for David Ellis. Coming up to the wall now. Just going to miss out on that British record, but it's a winning time of 222.35. Malcolm in lane four then now beginning to distance herself from the rest and the rest can't limit the gains that she's beginning to establish five to go here she comes almond up to the touch now in a finishing time of 242.33 good start by tynan going strongly in lane four holding off a very firm challenge by the swimmer in lane three and that's uh, sarah locher from bridge end but it looks like tynan's gonna take it it's close isn't it Tynan gets it on 32.19. And Slowinski, the British record holder, he's starting to come through here in lane five. Remember, he always used to swim in that red suit, but now, of course, they're all banned, aren't they? But it's Slowinski, timing his effort to perfection. Hits the wall now, Slowinski, 61.32. Dickens at the moment in uh, lane four, trying to hold off the challenge of the swimmer in lane three, Hayley Towney. University of Bath, it's these two, although coming through strongly also in lane six, is uh, Alice Thomas from Swansea Performance, but it looks like four will take it, it's very close. Yep, Jessica Dickons of Stockton takes that on 60.75.